Hi guys, uh, sorry I haven't spoke in a while. Uh, I have been nominated to do a horse tag by one of my fellow subscribers, so thank you. Uh, first question, what discipline do you ride in now? I currently ride in English, but I have had past experience riding a full bred quart horse in Western. If you had to switch your discipline, which one would you choose? Probably uh, Western, and the reason is, is the only way I can define the difference between the two is riding English, it's like you sat perched on a bar stool, and depends what sort of Western saddle you got. Uh, riding Western, it's like you sat on a couch, and riding while sat on a couch. Um, who is my equestrian idol? I sort of have two or three. Uh, I have some professional ones and some YouTuber ones. Uh, my YouTuber ones are Ale, Equi Ale, Ale Equestrian, and um, Ellen Mario. Uh, yeah, I really like Ellen and Mario, um, and my. Professional ones are Emily King, as she's not that much older than me, and also her mum, Mary King, as them two are just really good riders and they have the horse's best interest at heart. Um, describe your dream horse breed, um, colours, markings, name, if you have. Um, yeah, basically, I already have my dream horse, Midnight. Uh, She's a moody mare, she's a lot like her owner, uh, she can be a bitch at times, and I'm sorry if people don't like swearing and that, but yeah, she can be a complete and utter bitch at times, and bucking, rearing, bronking, uh, but yeah, I love her, and she's won me quite a lot of competitions already, and yeah, we have a big competition season planned for this year, uh, what would you do if you were forced to stop riding? If I was forced, yeah, I don't think that would happen. Uh, but if I was forced, then I'd still go to horses' fields and that, and then go in the fields and that, and sit with them, and just spend time with them and see if I could groom them and that. Um, what was your best score at a show? I haven't really done that many shows that you get a score for. I've been placed a few times, um, that's about it. I haven't done dressage yet, which is on the clocks for this year. Um, yeah, we're doing, we're planning on doing a hunter trial because I'm just waiting on Midnight's new bit and um, new tack and that so I can get who's going out and about and that. Um, group lessons or private? I've had both and in a way I prefer group lessons because if someone rides before you then you can pick up habits off them but sometimes they're bad habits so in a way they're not that good but yeah group lessons because I've had a group lesson with my best friend Eve and rode her horse down and we ended up jumping about 80 centimetres and I know it's not a lot but that was after not riding for six months so how high do I jump? Mm, it depends because I've just recently been to Farnover Indoor Arena in Door, um, and the highest we jumped there was a 90 centimetre spread which midnight flew over completely and yeah. Uh, but I have jumped over three foot on my friend's Aventer. What level of dressage do I do? Uh, I don't do dressage at the moment, which I will be doing, so I'll update you further on that when I get there. Uh, cost country colours. Uh, mine and Midnight's are black and red, and as Midnight is a black Frisian cross, uh, yeah. She has red and I just have a checkered red and black shirt that we go cross country in. Your opinions on a Rolka? I hate him. Like, I just. 
I just think that if a horse is trained right, you'll get it to do what you want, what you want it to do. But if you start putting apparatus like a uh, rolker on them, then as soon as you take it off, they're gonna be twice as worse, and they're not gonna respond to what you're asking to asking them to do because you've not got the um, equipment that helped you to do it before on them, and then they're just gonna take the piss basically. Uh, last time you rode. Last time I rode was at Farnover, and I think that was about three weeks ago, or four weeks ago. I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it was really good. Midnight ditched me twice. One of them, my saddle slipped. Um, so there was nothing I could do about that. And the first time, I accidentally caught Midnight on her ass with a crop. And yeah, she doesn't like it. And if it, I've had loads of people say, oh, blah, 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 give her a crack with whip before you go over the jump. Do you actually want to come and try mid midnight and give her a crack before the jump? Guarantee, nine times out of ten, she'll love you off. Uh, if you can spend a day with any equestrian, who would you spend it with? What would you do? Uh, it's not really an equestrian, but I'd happily spend a day on the Northern Racing College Yard with the thoroughbreds and exercise them. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't grown up with thoroughbreds, but... Yeah, my aunt, like, is really into thoroughbreds and she trained a horse, which was an Irish trotter. Completely reschooled her, everything, and then now her name's Susie, and I can't remember what her show name was, but she's now gone off to event at places like Burley and Bromley. Um, helmet or no helmet, your opinions, helmet. Although I have ridden without a helmet, but I got bollocked up and mum for it. Um, yeah, I prefer, I just think it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, basically, have you ever? Um, sorry, someone's just texted me. Um, have you ever trained or reschooled a horse? Yes, I've completely um, broken in a horse, Merlin, who. Yeah, he's, he features like really early on in my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, I can. He's a. It was a um, four and a half year old call, well stallion, and yeah, I completely brought him on. He was jumping within the first three weeks that I had him. Not with me on him, you know, just lunging and that. But yeah, completely broke him in. Did it all myself and that didn't have any help um, in fact he was I was lucky though because he was really easy to break um, who was your first horse <sighs> basically it she wasn't mine but I loaned her a little 11-2 Welsh section A pony call cracker yeah she was a cow but I miss her um, what is your worst riding accident Basically, I was riding my friend's horse. He was a 15-3 um, Irish cob thing. Big, massive, chunky. Um, basically, he tripped over something and, come, and his back end's just come up and I've just gone flying. He's landed all on my shoulder. And yeah, I ended up breaking my collarbone right down there. Which really wasn't very nice because now my shoulder clicks and yeah, it's all bony and I've lost all the muscle down there to my arm. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, just going to explain a bit now why I haven't been active on YouTube lately. Uh, basically, I have now got a new camera which I'm videoing on. Um, it's not anything special, just a digital single lens reflex um, but I have got a um, job uh, I am now getting paid to be on the event photography team um, up and down Derbyshire Derbyshire Photographic um, so if any of you like compete at Highmore in Kilimar, Sheffield or Eckington then you might see me because I'm on the events team 
I've now got a lad that I'm really happy with. Um, I love him to bits. I've uh, been with him. We don't exactly go out, but yeah, I've been with him for about six months ish. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many of you have seen my latest video, but um, I have now got a new little uh, 12 hand section A pony called Angel, who my aunt Sarah um, bought for her nephew Louie, but I'm bringing him on, he's like a little project for me, so uh, um, while I can't ride midnight, well when I'm not riding midnight, because yeah, she needs working and she's getting really moody because she's not getting out in the field a lot. Um, but yeah, in a few weeks we have a Nervous and Novice show jumping planned, so I'm hoping I can get the box for it, because um, I was meant to go last Sunday but I couldn't get the box to go. Hmm. But yeah, um, hopefully I can go this time and if not then yeah, I'll just go the other time, but hopefully I can go cross country again this year. Um, I really enjoyed it and I also went on a hunt on my friend's horse a few weeks ago uh, well a few months ago Barlow hunt Barnial, Barlow annual drag hunt so there was no animals hurt and I know people don't like hunting but it was a drag so it wasn't actually real um, yeah that's about it um, please 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 subscribe to my friend uh, the pro player 3000 basically he's working on some really good videos he does a lot of game editing and tutorials and that and just random, random banter as he says um, so that's the pro player 3000 and I'll put his channel link in the description box um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, please subscribe to me. Um, I'm hoping to get to, for um, well, yeah, four hundred subscribers by the end of this year. So hopefully I can. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I have been busy with college as I have now moved to a um photography and media enterprise photography. Um, college so that's doing well with my job um, so yeah thank you for watching and please subscribe